Welcome to a brand new episode of Kenny Songwriting and Music World. My name is Kenny, aka. It's so good to be back again. And um, before I even proceed, can I say a massive, massive thank you for all your encouragement, likes, subscribes, and comments. Yeah. I did read loads of comments on my last episode and I'm so glad so many of you guys could relate to my story on that episode of Racing Driver. Just in case you've not seen it, you might want to go check it out on my channel. As always and as usual, I will be presenting you uh, an original song written by myself for your enjoyment today. And the title of my song for today is Paysetter. Yes, Paysetter. And um, I wrote this song 2015 and produced it the same year. Production was by Paul Mao, Select Studios, and vocal performance by my lovely, able session singer and friend, Vanilla Black. How did I come about Paysetter? What's the story? How did I get the inspiration? As part of my efforts in becoming a better songwriter I did mention in my first ever episode my introductory episode you can go check it out if you haven't I did mention that I joined this um, lovely songwriters workshop um, it's, it's a medium size um, workshop with lovely great songwriters who come together to rub minds to share ideas all in the purpose of you know making our skills as songwriters better. Trust me, I've met fantastic and lovely people on this workshop. So we come together, we write songs, song, we give ourselves exercises and challenges. We write songs based on our experiences. We write songs based on topics for the day. And it, it's been really helpful so far. On this particular day, I attended the workshop and once I got in, um, the coordinator told us that we were going to have a challenge for that day. And that the challenge for that day was for each and every one of us to write a song, um, to write a song, a commercial song about leadership without necessarily emphasizing on the word leadership. He said he would like for this song you know, to, to serve commercial purposes, probably brands who like to um, advertise their products and, you know, services, that we should write a song that is worthy of a brand to use, you know, to advertise their products and services. And yes, we were all excited about it and we set about our task. So what not we normally do is we all go on our separate ways and write the songs and then at the end of the session, we come back together and every one of us comes out and we share our song, we sing our songs and we try and, you know, find out whoever's nailed it the most. We, we get ideas from each other and yeah, basically you, you get the picture. I proceeded to my own corner of the room and brought out my jotter and my pen and I just wanted to start to write. We had about um, two hours to do this exercise and guess what guys? I just blanked out. I just blanked out. They call it writer's block. And um, probably some of you would have heard about it. Writer's block is when um, an individual who's a writer, you, you could be an author, you could be a songwriter, you could be a journalist, a writer generally, that um, is in the process of writing the content and you suddenly go blank, you run out of ideas, that's what's called writer's block and so on this particular day I had a writer's block I sat down there for 10 minutes and I couldn't think of anything to put down I struggled I tried I, I was looking around I, I could see people you know writing already getting something you know done I just couldn't write anything my, my brain literally clogged up like a kitchen zinc I can't believe I'm lightening my brain to a kitchen sink. And anyway, that, that's, that's what happened. I couldn't think of anything. And on that day, I had two options. The first option was to struggle and keep writing and write jargons. I knew that was what I was going to do because I had nothing upstairs. 
the second option was to just fold my arms and watch others write and, and just give it up. And so I went for the second option. I just sat there because I knew if I struggled, if I wanted to compete with the others and oh, I'm going to have to write something, I knew I wasn't going to write anything constructive. And so I just sat down there and I just looked around and watched everybody writing their stuff. At the end of the challenge, a friend of mine said to me, Kenny, aren't you writing anything? And I said, you know what, my brain is clogged up right now and I'm just going to, I, I've given it up, it, it's no use. After two hours, everyone was ready to present their, um, their songs and their lyrics and everyone came out one by one to sing, either sing their songs or read the lyrics. Trust me, people came out with fantastic ideas and lovely stuff that I could learn from. And uh, when it was my turn to, to step out, I just said to, to my colleagues, guys, I blanked out. I couldn't write anything. And um, so, yeah, you will have to excuse me for today and next session is another day. And then, yeah, the session ended. And on my way home, I felt, well, the session has ended. That's it. Next session, then I'll, I'll come back brand new. But something in my mind said to me, you, you can't give up. Even though you blanked out at this point in time, you couldn't write today, you should go back home and still carry on with this challenge and, and write your own song about this leadership song. Even though I wasn't going to share it again in class because the session was over, but I just thought I wouldn't give up. And so I went back home and um, I gave it a week I just, you know, when, when I have writer's block like that, I just go off my pen and jotter, just step back, take a step back and clear my head. And so after a week, I felt I, I had stuff up there. My, my, my brain had um, finally declogged and I, I got my pen out and my jotter and I started to write. First, I thought, okay, um, we've been asked to write about leadership without necessarily emphasizing on the word leader. And I thought of words that could, you know, be synonymous to leader, a leader and leadership. And I came up with pace error. And so I got the title and I started to write bit by bit by bit. At the end of the day, I was able to come up with my, my own lyrics and my melody. And I, I really was happy and, and, and glad that I did not, not give up. Even though I did not write this song, at the time when I would have written it with my colleagues, I still ended up writing this song. Moral of my story, number one, don't give up. Quitters never win and winners never quit. Even if um, a task seems so difficult at, at a point, there is always the chance to try again. Always the chance to try again. And most of the time, when we try again and try again, we, we get there. The other moral of this story is life is not about competition. We shouldn't compete. We shouldn't perceive life as, as a race. We, we are here in this world to run our own personal race. We shouldn't, um, on, on that day, if I, if I had perceived this exercise as a competition, I would have forced myself to write down something, even if it was rubbish. But I didn't see it as a competition. We, we tend to, to see things and, you know, with colleagues and friends, different, in different aspects of life, we, 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 seem, we tend to be in that competitive mode. And it, it, so, it becomes very frustrating when, you know, you think you're competing with others, you get into that competitive mode and you don't win, you become frustrated. The best thing is to run your own race, to stay on your own tracks. It doesn't matter who gets there first. As long as you keep moving, you will get to the finish line. Sometimes you, might, you may be lucky, you're running your own race and you look back and there are people trailing behind you, you're, you're on the forefront. That's fantastic. Sometimes you find yourself in the middle, moving with others. Some are ahead of you already. Don't worry. 
it's okay. Someone will always be ahead of you anyway. We, not, we, we cannot always be in the forefront. We cannot always be the first at every point in our lives. There will be times when we'll be, be at the forefront. There will be times when we'll be right in the middle. And there will be times when we will be lagging behind. It, it, doesn't ma ma it doesn't matter. What matters is that at every point in our lives, we keep moving. We don't stop moving. We could be moving at a slow pace. We could be m moving at a faster pace. It doesn't matter we will all get to the finish line at the end of the day. If we try to get into that competitive mode, oh, my friend is writing it to this song today and I have to write my song, we, we would end up frustrating ourselves, being unhappy and feeling, you know, deflated. That's the moral of my story. And I'm, I'm going to play this song now and I'm going to have you listen to it. You, you'll be the judge of this song. I, I'd like to read from you, I'd like to read your comments. You tell me if, if, as a, if you as the owner of a brand will be happy to use this song as a commercial for your brand and, and to promote your brand. You tell me if it was worth waiting that day for a week to write this song or if it would have been better for me to write that song um, that day. I definitely wouldn't have read, written this type of song on that day. So yeah, I'm not going to take your time any further. Let's go straight to the track section and enjoy. Pace setter. Here we go. Faster than the light, taller than the skies. Brighter than the sun, greater than the mountains. We take the lead, others follow. Charging forward with the fiery force. The unstoppable, the unbreakable. Here to make a change, oh oh, oh oh. What did you think? How did that go? Do you think it was worth the wait? Do you think it was worth waiting for a week to write the song? Would you, as a brand owner, even consider using the song for promotional purposes for your brand? Um, I'd like to read from you. I'd like to read your comments. Thank you so much for joining me today again. I'm, I'm so happy. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Go for it so you're not missing on the uh, missing out on the good stuff and um, join me on Twitter and Instagram can you write music also if you'd like to download this song paysetter the download link is right beneath this page click on it it takes you straight to the online store 
I am looking forward to seeing you again in the next two weeks when I'll be presenting you with a brand brand new song. Till then, it's bye for now. Brighter than the sun, greater than the mountains. We are hard, we are all.